All right, boys, here we are again. Um, new uh, Janus UAE. Um, I don't think it's, it's not really finished, it's not finished this version, but I just thought you might like to see the two pointer and the difference it can make. Um, so I'm going to keep this fairly brief. So, anyway, let's have a little bit of music while we're playing. <clears throat> Right, um, first thing you know, it's the same old story. Click down here, go to uh, Amiga Apps. Uh, let's find the paint program, say D Paint. Now, if you watch the pointer, this is a really big important thing. Look up here, the red pointer is the AROS pointer, and the blue ROS, the blue, <laughs> the blue pointer, is me watching them come together, snap. There you go, they're now snapped together. Now, you'll notice that um, PAL screens have to run without overscan. That's just something that uh, Ollie's working on. Oliver, sorry, <clears throat> he's working on that at the moment, but um, power screens work fine. Uh, if you go into overscan, then um, they, they're still in sync, but they're above and to the left a little bit, which sort of makes it a bit tricky. So let's uh, quick look at this, so you can see straight into it, uh, load a picture, this is something from Aquarius, well, let's, let's get uh, Venus, here we go. Nah, no, we don't want to change that. Right, I'm um, going to just cut that out. Just get rid of the border. Grab that. Da -da 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 -da. Click there. But you can see now the really key thing is, watch this, if I click on the, I know exactly what I'm clicking on. Okay, which is really useful. Uh, <clears throat> so close that. Come down to... Now, the great thing about this is, what, what I particularly really like, um, I started using the Cubic IDE, I uh, well, tried to use it for my Samaros and uh, 68K code. Watch, watch them snap together. Snap. <laughs> I like that. <clears throat> Solves so many problems. Right, so I open this up. Now, bear in mind, I'm, I'm running this from Ross, obviously. Uh, let's, oh, let's go and find something just quick and easy to edit. Uh, Right, startup sequence. Yeah, here we go. Scroll up and down. So that's a 68k application, but because I've got access to my AROS, my AROS drawers, so I've got AROS work. I've got all my my work in here, so you can see the source code stuff I've got in here. And, um, it means I can use 68k code now properly because my buttons are actually. And I haven't got to think about this. Whereas before, I'd think, where, well, where's the key, the pointer, and so on. Um, it does snap together really nice. Now, this becomes really evident when you click on for the workbench. Now, I'm going to open up workbench. Now, again, it's it's in non overscan. Watch them snap together. There we go, snap. <laughs> I never tire of that one, I tell you. Right, so here's my uh, normal 640 for 512 um, overscan. Now let's turn this down a little bit. It's making a bit of noise. Hang on. There you go, sweet. I like Kate Bush, but she's been a bit noisy. Right, so I can click on, uh, let's open up Clown. Now, that's all very well, so I can get that title bar nice. Now, one little thing I will mention, which he's going to fix this, but it's something that's quite annoying. If I grab the drag screen, oh, good, it's working now. <laughs> it doesn't always work that one. Let's call me a liar. Oh, well, I don't edit these things, so you can just see the cock ups as we go along. Anyway, so now, I'll, I'll see, let me just click on Scala um, so you can see that but what I do want to show you is the difference it's made in um, Picasso so let's click on all, all this stuff is normally usable it's just absolutely brilliant um, uh, Scala wipes here we go all right so there we go so Scala wipes Scala how about that single pointer brilliant right let's get rid of that quit that of course there's no sound in it <laughs> <clears throat> right, um, now, uh, what was I going to show you? Oh yeah, I was going to change the um, over to Picasso mode. Now, at the moment, you can see Snap together. Now, once he's done the overscan, that will, he will fix that. Um, I, I will show you the problem, just so in case you sort of like, maybe don't believe me. Uh, do you know what? Oh, no, no, what am I doing? Cancel, hang on, sorry, tell a lie. If we go into overscan, now if I set overscan, this is where you see the problem. Right now you see that, see the two pointers, let's see the blue one which is the Amiga one and the AROS one, see they're out of sync now. So if you go back, now they're snapped. So it's just, at the moment, 
and he's going to fix this, but at the moment it only snaps with um, non overscan. So cancel that. Now, what I actually wanted to show you was screen mode. Now, let's go into 1024. And again, I think he's actually, at the moment, the maximum Picasso screen is. Uh, 1024, 768. I think he's raising them up. I saw a mention about that, so um, which is going to be quite good. Right, uh, click on use. Bang! Look at this. How nice is this? Right now, you got a Picasso, a 1024 mega display. Now, how nice is this? This is what I normally use. Um, it does mean some programs don't quite launch correctly. Um, what one little thing that, uh, uh, which again he's got to fix is because of some of the. Um, uh, <clears throat> he patches certain things. Brilliance won't work. Anything that has a, uh, a panel that uses a separate second screen that drops down doesn't work at the moment. Again, he's going to fix that. I'm not showing you coherence mode. All right, uh, I, I have got it working. Um, it's, it, but it's not. It's not completely usable yet. I mean, it's, it's not finished. To be fair to the guy, um, it, it's got tons of promise. I will say that tons of promise. It does look very, very good. I was a bit skeptical to start with because I like it like this. Anyway, right, so now you can see if you watch the pointers, right, I come out and you, hopefully you can see that pointer. And as soon as I come back in, it snaps in beautifully. But it does mean uh, I can run Art Effect now. Um, Amiga applications, now this is what I wanted from the beginning, right? Amiga applications now actually look, they're actually integrated. Just that stupid thing of that pointer. Has made all the difference in the world. Uh, I, I can't, you know, I just can't emphasise enough how important it was. Um, <clears throat> oh, that's one little tweak. Um, he's got again another little tweak. He's got to do there. Um, but anyway, so I think you can see that it's uh, uh, it's coming on quite nice. Um, yeah, here we go. Photogenics. Uh, uh, let's open that one up again. I, I quite like this Nalu image. Nicked it off of Nvidia's site. Um, which is quite cute. Uh, switch screens, but the best thing is this: it's, it's this whole. You can actually see the, you know, the buttons. Oh, good, oh, well. You can see what's going on, and it, you know, it's so much easier to control now. We got this sorted out. Yeah, it's, uh, I never was an artist. So. Uh, let's flip back, and of course, we can still launch. Oh, here is AD Pro on this main screen. Uh, don't know. Is it? <laughs> maybe not, maybe that's not set up right. Anyway, there you go. Um, um, I'm pleased with that. Uh, hopefully you are too. Here, another look at this. Um, this is really good, I've got to say. It's Cubic IDE. I get to use um, uh, have a really good uh, quality editor now. Um, for developers, I think if you're developing on Amos and you're not using this, I'm, I'm hoping the guy, the, the guys who write this, they might just do the editor on its own, because I, I can understand at the moment they're not doing the um, complete system for Ross, but the editor's really good. Uh, what more can I say apart from I love it? Um, no, I love it. There you are, final writer. You want to type a letter? Oh, here we go, slaying right down now. Why are you slaying down? <laughs> I think that art department's running in the background probably. Right, there you go. I uh, hope that sort of shows you how good it is. Toodaloo, chaps.